going five whole minutes without someone mansplaining anything to me. I mean, that's a cause for celebration, right? Yeah. Share the biscuit, anyone? Yes. Oh, hand them out, hand them out. Share, share the... I'm full of... What can I say? I'm a giver. I'm a giver. Oh, first things first, can we have a big round of applause for Rob? Yeah! Oh, dick pics, yeah. Um, the last guy that offered to send me a dick pic was my kind of boyfriend, but um, I had to go to his cremation last month. No, that isn't a punchline, that genuinely happened. Oh. Yes. Not the best way to meet the parents, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of like... <laughs> and you are... <laughs> Impish. I'm his dad. <laughs> yeah, anyhow. Um, yes, death. It tends to put the kibosh on, you know, internet scrolling time and, you know, kind of like fighting with Brexit bigots and, you know, kind of like people say, but you don't look foreign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, ah, uh, how are you? Woo! Yes! Yes. yes, feminism. Girl power! Yeah! Yes! You know, I want to make it clear that as a feminist, this doesn't mean I hate men. None of us hate men. Well, we hate dickhead men, you know, those ones, yeah. But, but you know, generally, men have it tough. It's, it's not a popular opinion. We girls know, and we gay, and gay men know, that the toilets are a magical place. You go in there broken, humbled. You come out empowered. You know, men, they're even policed on how they go to the toilet. Right, straight in, straight ahead. More than two shakes, it's a wank. Get out! <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, um, the last time I went out clubbing, before this all happened, um, I was with my friend, we were on the guest list, I know, yeah, my life is a struggle. And, um, you know, this guy kind of like started went, ah, you've got a key for the women's toilets. It's like, yeah, we know what the men's toilets are like. Well, my friend said that, I just looked him in the eye and said without thinking, yeah, but we have multiple orgasms though. <laughs> and there was a moment of silence and he said, actually, that's a pretty good point. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's true. You walk past the men's toilets, up. Like, oh God, the stench from the bog. Literally toxic masculinity. <laughs> and they have the worst choice when it comes to aftershaves and you know scents and nice smelling things. And you know when it comes to jumpers and like t-shirts, all the colours that you've got available are just variants of school uniform. <laughs> I, I, I really feel for you guys. It's just kind of like whenever I get together with a guy, you know, uh, which reminds me, I actually bumped into a former boss and, um, no, I shouldn't repeat that bit, but he, he <laughs> really, I shouldn't. Um, but his lovely wife texted and he just said typical female behavior and i just thought what is this a point where i said what's typical male behavior like going into my bathroom it's like oh what's that that's really expensive eye cream don't, don't no no more than a pee it's okay. but yeah uh, oh, speaking of beauty products um last night at the excellent gmb i'm looking at you kyle um <laughs> it, it was all about sex last night and you know yeah, feminism empower yeah, I know. Feminism empowerment, she says, with a massive fist in the air. Um, you know, this guy said that, you know, lube is really good for straight sex. And I have to say, it is really good. If anyone doesn't know, you know, when you're with a boyfriend, you know, kind of like really good Also, really good face mask if you've got, like, a very sensitive skin. <laughs> not, not the result when you're doing a, you know, but, you know, the actual face mask. Because sensitive skin, even aloe vera, like, <sighs> stingy, you know, yeah. How can I forget the ex-boyfriend going in there and saying, um, why have you got lube in the bathroom? Actually, it's a really good face mask. Five minutes later, he burst out of there, my skin's so soft. <laughs> it's like, now that's typical male behaviour. <laughs> typical. It's like, have you been at my face mask? No, then why is your back clear of spots? <laughs> Do you know how much that shit costs? Mm. Oh, I should really explain myself because, you know, no one else is going to, you know. I know it's not immediately apparent, but I am an ethnic. Any other ethnic people here tonight? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. Raise your hands. Yay! I know, you know, we've, we've got to be loud and proud on these things because other ethnic people, you know, we, visibility and let's face it, it's the only way we're going to get a job or, you know, an agent. You know, it's just like, oh, so that white guys in comedy, there's, there's not enough of them. <laughs> yeah, it's just that. And I actually had a white guy in comedy who shall remain nameless say to me, oh, this, someone just said that, you know, well, I have got nothing to say. And I can't, and this 
Kyle is flashing me. I, I, I can't. I can't say it's the first time I've been flashed by a gay man, but you know. <laughs> You can take the girl out of the gay disco, Kyle. What can I say? Vauxhall lives on. But anyway, you've been awesome. I love you all.